I need to correct an error from my Mac to Linux update video. A GPU was required since this CPU lacks integrated graphics. Apologies, I misspoke. My initial AM4 build used a Ryzen 7 5700X, which does not have integrated graphics. The RX 7600 was initially needed for the AM4 setup. I simply carried it over to the AM5 Ryzen 9 9900X build, which has integrated graphics. The original AM4 setup is still here. I upgraded to the AM5 9900X for future proofing, and I got a good deal at the time, but realized my basic workflow, no gaming, rendering, training AI models, doesn't require a GPU. I am removing the RX 7600 I carried over to test my performance using the iGPU exclusively. Now we all know it's never quite as simple as just yanking out the dedicated GPU. Before we fully commit, there are a few minor BIOS adjustments I'll need to make, and we'll tackle those momentarily. But first things first, let's gain access. I'm starting by carefully removing all of the easy-to-manage panels from the Fractal TerraJade case. With the panels off and the interior completely exposed, I have unobstructed access to the main components. I can clearly see a few readily accessible screens screws that secure the GPU. Once those anchor points are free, I can gently lift the entire graphics card safely and cleanly out of the enclosure. With the large GPU gone, I suddenly have far more room inside and fewer cables to manage. This offers a perfect opportunity to tidy up and optimize the remaining cable management. It's certainly a much lighter and more streamlined looking build with that massive dedicated card completely out of the way. I'll refine the cable management later considering I have all of this new space to work with. I'll go ahead and throw the panels back on the fractal case. The physical work is pretty much done now, but now I have the removed RX 7600 GPU and I still have the original AM4 setup. I only need a SSD, PSU, and a case to build another computer. What should I create with these AM4 spare parts? Let me know your suggestions down in the comments below. With the hardware finished, I'm heading into the BIOS. Though the iGPU is automatically recognized by my setup, I still need to tweak a few settings in the BIOS, specifically starting with UMA, dedicating one gigabyte of RAM to ensure the best balanced graphics performance. Next, I'll set Eco Mode to 105, adjust the CPU case fan curves for optimal thermals, enable memory context restore, and disable resizable bar support. With those tweaks out of the way, always review before saving and exiting the BIOS. All right, now forget Mint for a moment, it's time to distro hop. I'm diving into a fresh install of Omarchi using the latest 3.2 ISO. Mint might be my comfort food, but Omarchi? That's pure adrenaline. I absolutely love how quickly I can go from zero to 100 with a blazing fast, beautiful Arch Hyperlin tiling window manager setup. Seriously, just a handful of initial prompts, user password, name, email, hostname, time zone, and we're off to the races with the install. I frequently distro hop between Omarchi, yes, it qualifies as a full distro, Mint, and my Linux for work dot files for both Arch and Fedora when I truly want to tinker and learn more. The tiling window manager experience on Omarchi should handle the iGPU without a hitch. I do want to test it and that's why I'm installing this first. Mint might need a little tweaking, but my workflow ensures it won't be a big deal and my Arch Fedora setups will run smoothly as well on the iGPU. Once Omarchi is installed in a minute, I'll test key apps and edit this very video right here. If you're watching this, know it was smoothly edited and uploaded using Kden Live and Audacity, powered by only the Ryzen 9900X's integrated graphics. And of course, also let me know in the comments down below, what are some other things you would like me to test with this setup with just the iGPU in mind? And just like that, we're wrapping up the Omarchi install now. Once it's installed, select OK to reboot. After rebooting, don't forget to remove your USB drive with the ISO. All right, vacation is over, time to get back to business. As soon as Omarchi throws up the glorious boot screen, I'll punch in our initial credentials and officially check into the system. But before the real fun starts, we have to tackle the necessities. A lightning quick Wi-Fi configuration and a mandatory Omarchi system update. Gotta make sure everything is absolutely fresh and current before we dive right into exploring this fresh install. All right, gotta nail the desk aesthetic. I'm changing the theme now. Omarchi's stunning out of the box themes make it incredibly easy. With the theme set, let's launch some core app starting with Caden Live, my Linux video editor. It opens quickly and during the actual editing of this video, it ran buttery smooth with zero hiccups. I use Audacity for voiceovers, but it's missing here. Let's leverage the super key and tiling window manager to instantly open the terminal and install Audacity right now. I've used Audacity for years and it's still my preference, but feel free to recommend alternatives if you know any great Linux audio editors. Audacity is installed, it loads without hesitation. Reminder to myself here to set a key binding later for added 
efficiency, but I'm keeping this standard editing layout in Workspace ONE, and I'll switch over to Workspace Two now. I'm also installing Brave Browser. I also use Malved Browser, but Brave is the latest browser I'm testing as my new daily browser. Yes, it's still Chromium based, but look, I'm trying to move away from Chrome and relying on just Google directly. If you recommend another browser, by all means, drop it in the comments, but really, can we trust any of these browsers? Anyways, jokes aside, this is installing pretty smoothly here. The tiling window management across Omarchi is working flawlessly as I kind of expected, even with just the iGPU. Again, a dedicated GPU is going to be more specific to that heavier gaming, to the heavier workflow if you're rendering, say, crazy 8K videos, or if you're looking to train complex AI models, then you're going to, of course, need a dedicated GPU. For my personal usage, also having this small form factor build, I don't really need that dedicated GPU. For my workflow overall, as you can see here, it is working flawlessly and I expect it to for the foreseeable future. Editing, etc., has all been a breeze on here, so really no concerns at this time running this iGPU setup with Omarchi currently. So there you have it, a quick fun experiment born from me fumbling my own words in a previous video. But I'm now set up to really push these integrated graphics and I'll report back soon with the findings and performance limits. While you wait, let me know your thoughts and what should I test in the comments? And seriously, tell me, what should I build with all these AM4 spare parts? I'll be enjoying Omarchi through the holidays, less distro hopping for the next few weeks, but you know how Linux goes. Expect plenty more content in the new years. As always, thank you for watching, take care and stay safe.